Chris Cavis here for Naval News, and we're at the U.S. Navy League's Sea Air Space Exposition just outside Washington, D.C. We're at the Northrop Grumman booth, and joining us today is David Portner, who is a senior program manager for Michi Naval and Oceanic Systems, where they're working on a very lightweight torpedo, a small torpedo that is light in weight, it is light in size, it, is, uh, it has high performance, it can be used on many, many platforms, and it has a defensive as well as offensive capability. It can be an anti-torpedo weapon as well as an anti-submarine weapon. So, David, this is a really interesting little weapon here. What is this, what, what's the idea? So, obviously in anti-submarine warfare, numbers matter. Numbers in the, in the area of the weapons you can bring to the fight as well as the platforms that can engage. And the advantage of this very lightweight torpedo is that because it is lighter weight, current ASW platforms can carry more of them, such as the SH-60 helicopter, the P-8 uh, maritime aircraft, and more platforms can employ it, such as an, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, unmanned undersea vehicles, uh, and it can also go on current surface ships and submarines uh, as well. Uh, the smaller size gives many of these platforms, especially air platforms, either increased uh, weapons carrying capability or they can carry the same number of weapons they currently do with the lightweight torpedo and have more endurance or more range because they can carry more fuel. So people are familiar with the large 533 millimeter 21 inch standard tor submarine sized torpedo. Right. And then there's the, the ASW 12.75 inch uh, that's very common launched from Mark 32 triple launchers on any number of platforms worldwide. This is 174 millimeters? 171 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it's seven and three quarter, or six and three quarter inches, yes. So that's, that's a, it's hard to pack a, a high performance warhead, a high performance engine into that space. So how, how have you done that here? Okay, so this design was uh, originally designed by Penn State Applied Research Lab. It has a legacy of torpedo design and development going all the way back to World War II. And they were given the task by the Navy uh, primarily to develop a weapon that would be small enough to fit into, for example, the six-inch launcher on a submarine, and yet capable enough to engage a high-speed incoming torpedo which requires high speed, it requires high maneuverability, and it requires very fast, rapid processing. And so that is bringing in advanced technologies in all of those areas, as far as uh, the weapon control system for the fin actuators, the uh, processing architecture, so that it can very rapidly identify a target, classify that target, and then make the decision to engage that target and then control the weapon to close and engage it. The warhead is specially designed. I cannot get into the specifics of the warhead, but it is designed specifically to uh, match the performance of the lightweight torpedo as far as anti-submarine warfare, but also to be able to engage and defeat incoming torpedoes at the same time. So you, you've mentioned all these platforms, including very small platforms, but this, this can also be carried by aircraft carriers. That's right. In fact, uh, the Navy had an ur urgent operational need uh, several years ago where they tasked Penn State to build and install the uh, anti-torpedo torpedo system onto five carriers. Uh, which was accomplished in the uh, 2014 to 2017 timeframe, uh, specifically to give them a torpedo defense capability. Uh, so, so is this torpedo right now? This is this this is part of a competition yet? Where is this? Where is this in, in the program world? So, Penn State developed it. Uh, you could essentially classify it as a prototype weapon right now that had been uh, er with early operational use. Uh, it is now at the point where the Navy wants to transition it to industry and essentially read or modify the design so that it can be designed for manufacture, manufacture in a high rate production environment. Uh, that is going to be a competition, uh, but it's, they're using uh, uh, um, 
an OTA or an other transaction authority, which allows them to move more rapidly through the contracting process. Uh, we expect the proposal, the request for a proposal to come out this fall in the next couple of months. Uh, the Navy would very quickly make a decision off of that. We expect that they will select the winner either later this year or early next year with a contract award in early 2022. And that will allow us to much more quickly get into the uh, evaluation and uh, design changes necessary to be able to produce these in a normal manufacturing environment. Well, thank you, sir. We've been talking to David Thorpe from Northrop Grumman about the very lightweight torpedo.